A rude avocado called Reg had a grow up with a grape in a hedge. Along came his wife with a big carving knife and cut off his mate into a veg. <laughs> Hello everyone! Well, it's frivolity, it's that kind of, it's that um, time of the week again. Frivolity and laughter and tarot and mischievousness and everything wonderful today. Uh, with me, Gina Pontoni, and also I've got a wonderful guest today. A very handsome guest, I may add. In fact, I don't think I have anyone on here that's not handsome. Males, I'm talking about. So, I've had a few lessons this week, so I'm going to read one of them out. Okay. Dear Gina, do you ever read the cards for yourself? John from Middlesbrough. Now, that is a really good question because when you read cards for yourself, you can't be really objective. I do do the cards for myself occasionally, but it's very hard to be objective when you do them for yourself. So if you do a spread and they're not very good, you just think, oh, I'll just put them away. I must be in a bad mood today. You know, it's, it's very, very difficult to do your own. But as I say, I have done. Um, I think I told you in one of my first blogs that I actually saw an accident in my... Well, I didn't see an accident in my cards, but I knew there was something dodgy was going to happen because I got the chariot. Now, the chariot can mean travel or it can mean something to do with cars and transport. I got the um, the Nine of Swords, which is the Nightmare card. I got the Eight of Swords, which is Entrapment. I got the Tower, which is a breaking down of something. Now all that came in my cards, and I was like, wow! I knew there was something not very nice was going to happen, so I just put them away. And then about two months later, I had um, a really bad car crash. Uh, I think I told you I broke forty bones. Um, that was in hospital for a long time, so that would have been the Entrapment card. The tower will have been something beyond your control, out the blue, that was going to happen. The chariot, obviously, that has something to do with me being on the road. So that wasn't very nice. So you can see things in your cards that you don't want to see. So sometimes it's not always a good idea to do your own cards. However, I do do them. But make sure you don't get obsessive because, you know, it can get to the point where you're doing them every day. And it, and it is very, very addictive. The cards are very, very addictive. And I'm sure that you'll identify with what I'm saying about the cards there because they are addictive. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to talk about today, I'm going to talk about the swords, the suit of the swords. This is a challenging suit. Last week I talked about the cups. They're the nicest suit in the whole pack. They're all about love and emotion. There's not many bad cups. The only cups that are not very good are the five and the eight and the rest of them are great. Um, but with the swords, there's not many good swords. The ace, the four and the six and the rest are not very nice. So I'm going to do a quick fire um, talk about the swords. Um, maybe give you a little song in between, see if I can uh, think of some songs. Right, the first one, the Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords, all aces and new beginnings. Now, this is a good sword. This would be the sword that cuts through all the negative any, all, all the negative um, rubbish, basically. Um, it's a positive, positive, um, I believe I can fly. If you've been feeling a bit negative and the Ace of Swords comes up, it means that you're going to get your mojo back. Excalibur. Two of Swords. Two of Swords is stalemate. This is all about... Um, basically nothing going on in your life everything that's just stuck so it's like non-movement basically when you get the swords it's not a bad card it just means nothing's going on at the moment and nothing's going to change um, can't think of a song sorry <laughs> right oh my god right the three of swords this to me is the worst card in the pack this is heartbreak it's devastation, it can mean divorce, it can mean your heart's going to be broken, it can mean death, especially if the death card's next to it. It's absolute heartbreak. It's There's nothing nice I can say about this card, unfortunately. So the song would be, unbreak my heart, say you love me again. Awful card. I don't like to see that card in a ring. The Four of Swords. This is all about recuperation after illness. This is the healing card, actually. So this is a nice card. So if you've been poorly or if you've been ill, maybe it's time to recuperate and, and just heal. Or if you've been through a bad time, it means that you're getting sent healing and it's all about healing. Um, can't think of the song. Sorry. I know it's a quick round. Right. Five of Swords. Five of Swords. This is the message of this card is walk away from a situation. It can sometimes mean the control freak. It can sometimes mean somebody's um, a bit of a bully. Um, do not stand up to this person. Walk away from the situation. That is the best thing you can do. Um, because trying to um, 
deal with this situation that would would be futile, basically. Can't think of a song for that either. <laughs> Right, six of swords. This is a good sword. So this has two distinct meanings. The first meaning would be um, a trip across water because this is all about going across the water, the sea. You know, if you're going on a cruise, if you're going abroad. Or the second meaning would be you're coming out all of the turbulent water and you're going into the smooth sea. So it's a good card, what whatever meaning that it means. So the card I would, uh, the song I would sing would be um, somewhere. Beyond the sea. Right, next one. The Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords. This isn't a good card either. This is all about somebody being shady. Um, it's somebody's keeping something from you. Um, maybe a lion or not telling you the full picture. So the, the message of this card is shady. Can't think of a song for that either. <laughs> Pretty good this morning, am I? Right, Eight of Swords. That is a bad one as well. This means entrapment. It means that you think of like a cage lioness. You know, think of a lioness in the cage and she's dying to get out. It's 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 entrapment. I got this when I told you about my car crash. Um, so the song, you know, if anybody's uh, old enough uh, like me to remember the eighties, um, Kel and Abraham uh, trapped. Um, can't remember how it goes now. Can you see I'm so trapped? I don't know what to do but if you can see those swords are wide enough for you to slip through them swords so you don't have to be trapped in a situation if you don't want to you can get out if you want nine of swords this is welcome to my nightmare this is anxiety it's um can sometimes mean mental health issues. It's it's sleepless nights. It's everything as you can see. He's 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 holding his head. It's 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 kind of not what is going on in your life. It's what you fear. What's going to go on in your life? You know. It's as I say. It's anxiety. It can mean depression. It can mean you're not in a very good place really. But it's more mostly in your head. Um, welcome to my nightmare, Alice Cooper. I want to sing it. Right. Okay. A lot of people say this is the worst card in the pack. Personally, I don't think it is. It's a pretty bad card, and by that picture, it looks bloody awful, sorry, but it does. Um, the Ten of Swords. This is the card that means the only way is up. You've reached the absolute bottom in your life, and the only way is up now. Um, so the song that would be, um, the only way is up, baby. Yeah, it's, you've reached the bottom. It can be bankruptcy, it can be divorce, it can mean you've absolutely reached rock bottom. The only way is up. So, you know, and if you're a positive person like me, you can put a little bit of a positive slant on every card, really. Um, so I'm going to give these little cards a, a, a little shuffle for my guest who will be on shortly. Um, so there you go. I don't like, when I'm doing a reading, to be honest, I don't like to see a lot of swords. So if I have um, if I do a reading with somebody and there's a lot of swords, I have a bit of a heavy heart. Um, I think, oh, you know, they're obviously going through a bit of a bad time. However, like I say, if you're a positive person, nothing stays bad forever, does it? You know, the wheel of fortune always turns, so things can, can look better um, in the morning, in the, the nice daylight things are always worse at night i always think right before i introduce um my next handsome guest my next guest my only guest i'm going to read a little um limerick out um this was i love the fact that people sent me limericks i do um this is from melanie from darlington <laughs> a little bit cheeky there was a young man from st paul's who was born with detachable balls from under his cloth he'd unbutton them off and juggle while walking the halls <laughs> <laughs> I love the naughtiness. Right, I'm going to introduce my guest now. He's a gorgeous man. Um, the Colin James, and he's nearly, he nearly knocked me lap off there. <laughs> Welcome, James. Hello, Hello darling. Hello, are you all right? Give me a kiss. Oh, lovely to see you. Nice to see you too. Nice to see you. Are you okay? I'm very, very good. Thank now, you. me and James, we're not really friends, are we? I've, no. I've, in fact, I don't really know him. I've only met him once, and that was when I did your cards. Yes, um, quite a while ago now. Back in, well, the beginning of the year, wasn't it? Yeah, Something like that. That's right, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just asked him, I just said, do you want to be on my blog? Because I don't get many men, and many handsome men. So no, it's, I'm not uh, handsome. You were very <laughs> handsome. You're very modest. Right. Um, are you a Leo like me, James? I am indeed, yes. Eee, are you really? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I just thought you've, you've got Leo energy. Well, you've got you. Leo energy. Now, 
Are we doing a question or are we just doing like a card for the immediate future? Let's do a card, eh? Just for the immediate future? Yes, please. Right, okay. Give them a good shuffle. Oh, well, actually, do you want those or do you want these? It's entirely up to you. These I've had 42, uh, 43 years, actually. These are my oldest like ones. Do you like these yeah, ones? Would you rather have yeah. them? Right. Sorry, give them darling. a quick care. Uh, give them a good shuffle. Yeah, give them a good shuffle. Get all your, all your lovely Leo energy on those. Um, now, men are usually better shufflers than women. No, not, not me, honestly. Well, you've got bigger hands, you said. <laughs> well, women well, are... You know. <laughs> So give them a good shuffle and we'll just pick one card out and let's see what the week has in right. store for James. There we go. Right. Do you want me to give you a card? One card and don't look at it. Right. That's all, that's okay. All, that's all that we're doing. Just get your vibes. Let it be a good one, darling. It might be that one. That one's looking good for me. Which one? Right. Right, you've picked the justice card. Justice, right. Now, I talked about this a few weeks ago because I did the major arcana. This can mean something legal going on. Have you got some legal papers to sign? No, not that. Not at the moment. No. Oh, pick another card then because it might be coming up. But it's a good card. It means fairness. It means if if you um, if you go into court or anything, um, no. It'll, it'll, no? Oh, not any. Ah! <laughs> Make sure you don't get a driving ticket when you go, uh, a speeding ticket when you leave here. It can be something to do with um, the police station, the law. One more. Right, the emperor. Mm, interesting, you've got two major arcana there. The emperor would either stand for your father, it would either stand for you if you're a father, it could stand for somebody in authority, right? Now, it's funny that you've got the justice and the emperor which would say to me that somebody in authority that, you, that you're going to have dealings with this week or maybe in the next couple of weeks. So maybe it hasn't happened yet, you see. Give me one more. I think we'll just have one more. And if, it's a, if it's a bad one, you have to go slow in the car. Right. Make sure we don't park in any yellow lined places. One more. Right. Right. Right, that would be a child. Right, the Page of Swords is a little boy, usually. Um, is there a little boy around you? There is. Little boy, well, that's your little boy. He's so, well. Oh, is he? Oh, is he? he oh. Is that, yeah. Well, the pages, I talked about pages before, they're usually children or the messengers. And when I say the Page of Swords, I always think of a little boy. Um, and, that, and that little boy is, is um, you can see the wind coming out of his mouth, so he's quite a talkative little boy. He's, he's quite intelligent. He's probably an old soul. Gorgeous. Is that him? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's amazing. So there's your little boy. So your little boy, obviously, is featured in your life this week. Um, the Emperor is either you... Being a father, you know, and, and, and looking after your little boy. Or it could be something to do with somebody in, in law or something to do with paper signing or something. You know, you'll have to let me know. Right. You'll have to let me know about well, that. Definitely. Yeah. So, right. So what we'll do, I'm going to do a card of the week for everybody else now, right? So I'm just going to give them a little shovel um, and I'm going to pick a card out for the week. Now, this is for everybody else, so I hope it's a good it's a one. Minor. <laughs> Yours were all right, actually. Yours were all right. He didn't get any swords. Well, he did, but it was your little boy. But that was good. The page of swords is good. Right. Good, I do talk a lot, don't I? Yeah. Right, let's, let's pick... <laughs> let's pick a card out here for the week. Oh, look at that. Right. When the moon hits your eye like a big piece of pie, that's amore. The lovers... That is, well, I can't, mm, that's not, that doesn't mean that you're going to have a bad week, basically. The Lovers is one of these cards where um, it does what it says on the tin, basically. So you're going to get a bit of passion in your life this week. If you're single, keep a lookout for uh, the woman or the man of your dreams. Um, if you're not single and you're in a relationship, it means that the passion will be revved up. Um, so, yeah, that's a wonderful card to get, the Lovers. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right, so that could be you as well. Same nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> right. So, we will finish with a little joke. Right. This fella walks into a travel agent. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and he says, he didn't do that, that was me. And he said um, to the travel agent, she was quite snooty, the travel agent. So, he says, um, 
I'd like to go to Majorca, please. She said, what? He says, I'd like to go to Majorca. She says, sir, you don't say Majorca. You say Majorca. He said, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, okay then. She said, when were you thinking of going, sir? He said, uh, oh, not a lie. <laughs> Do you know that was actually clean? That was one of the first clean jokes I've told. Well, anyway, folks, it's been absolutely wonderful um, to see you today. And um, I know it's been an awful um, suit today, the swords. But, you know, there is some good swords. Remember, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Swords and the Six of Swords. They're the only good sword cards. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week. And I hope the lovers um, comes into your life this week, um, including you, James, and including me. <laughs> So have a gorgeous week. Sparkles and hugs and laughter and everything wonderful. And uh, give me a kiss. Oh, lovely to see you, darling. You have to turn the camera off. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. See you next week. <laughs>